Kayla, you found the Achilles heel in this new mobile site, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so when you use the site, the boutique version, because Mochino has two mobile sites now, one for its collection and different editorial content, and then a separate one where you can um, actually just go through the products as if it was a regular commerce kind of site. So it's a little bit easier to navigate than the first site, and you can really just click based on what product you want. You can click on the categories, and you just tap on them, and then you can slide through the pages. So it uses like the touchscreen interface. Um, if you're on the iPad or the iPhone, and it's kind of it's optimized for all phones, so based on which one you access the site from, it kind of changes the interface a little bit. And everything goes fine until then you go, you can put things in your shopping bag, you can pick your size and your color and things like that. But then once you click check out, you are just brought to a regular, a regular site from your mobile phone, so it's not optimized, so you kind of have to, it's a little bit harder to enter your payment information, so I think that Machino, if they were to just switch that one part and make all of it mobile optimized, they'd really get a lot more mobile transactions because I'm sure people might go to check out quickly and get frustrated by the whole process of putting your payment information onto a non-optimized site, which is most of the reason people develop these um, mobile sites is to have these um, payment options and it's hard, it's a little bit harder to do on this new Machina site. So I think that if they fix that, it'd really just be a great site altogether. Thank you, Dr. Kayla. <laughs>